What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, voice crack. Wow. Wow. Um, welcome guys to the, to the video, to the channel, to the series. Um, I've been, I talked about it a little bit in depth in yesterday's video, but it was in the back end of a really long video. So I want to talk about it in depth today at the start of today's video. So that those of you that click off after like five or six minutes, yeah, I see you. I see, I see the hundred percent view rate tail off after like five or six minutes. So to you guys, here's some information for you. So what I'm going to do, what I plan to do anyway, uh, whether or not we stick to it, um, I don't know. It, EA would have to do a madness for me to not to stick to this, and I'll explain why in a second. But what I plan to do is for the next however many weeks until team of the season is, save all of my rivals, champs, and squad battles rewards. That's right, I said squad battles. Um, based on when the Premier League finishes, which is the second week in May, we could be as few as eight weeks away from team of the season. Team of the season typically starts before the season ends. Um... And potentially it starts as the season ends, but typically before the season ends. So we could be as few as eight weeks away from team of the season and as much as potentially 12 weeks away from team of the season. But there's a lot of international tournaments on this summer. So there's a lot of content that EA might want to get out between the end of team of the season and the start of the new game or the futties or whatever they may have planned for this summer. Because after last summer how good the game was, they can't let this summer be worse than that, uh, in my opinion anyway. So, my aim is, I, I, I explained yesterday how I was going to not play Weekend League this weekend. I had got to 3-0 and before 6pm on Friday, and I had every uh, intention of actually playing all my games. Um, then the new set of Optimus Prime icons got released, and in drafts, they just coming out like hotcakes. And I have not had this much fun on FIFA as as I have had today since like the first couple of months of the game. I, I'm really, really enjoying just building the drafts, playing the games, win or lose, and then rebuilding again. So I, I'm back to a point where I'm just I'm just enjoying the game on draft. So I thought Team of the Season coming up soon, instead of doing nothing and having nothing prepared for Team of the Season and just playing drafts, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play to 14 wins every weekend. Uh, and let, let's assume Team of the Season is 10 weeks away. 14 wins every weekend, which will give me 20 mega packs and 20, uh, sorry, and 10 50k packs for Team of the Season. It will all also earn me playing about 15 to 18 games to get to the 14 wins, maybe 20 games to get to the 14 wins. It will also earn me somewhere along the region of about 110 to 130,000 match coins. Uh, which will be great to have in the bank. And I'll also get the red player picks every week that will still open. On top of that, it will earn me in Fut Rivals an extra 20 50k packs and 20 rare Electrum Players packs, which means for Team of the Season, if it starts in 10 weeks, we'll have 30 50k packs, 20 mega packs, and 20 rare Electrum Players packs, which is mental. On top of that, Monday through Thursday now, I'm going to play squad battles again, uh, just four games a day. Yes, it's going to take about an hour to an hour and a half of my time, but four games a day on squad battles Monday through Thursday should be enough to get me to Elite 3. And Elite 3 squad battle rewards, I had it. I did have it and now I don't have it, sorry. Um, Elite 3 squad battles rewards gives... Um, it gives one mega pack and two premium gold players packs, which means I'll have a further 10 mega packs saved and a further... Um, yeah, further 10 mega packs saved and a further 20 premium gold players packs. And it offers 12,000 coins, which will get me another 120,000 coins uh, in coins. And it offers, um, the obviously, the match coins as well, which will get me a whole bunch more coins in match coins. Um, probably You're probably looking at about 16 to 18 games. So like another 10 to 12,000 coins per week from match coins. So another 120,000 coins there. On top of that, obviously, with the Foot Champs rewards, uh, with Gold 3, it's like, what is it, 30,000 coins per week in Gold 3? Yeah, 30,000 coins. So that would be another 300,000 coins. On top of that, that's what we'll be doing for saving rewards. On top of that, we'll obviously still make coins through Bronze Pack Method and through SBCs that we can make profit on. We'll still make coins via play, like doing the player SBCs for cheap and doing upgrades packs when possible. 
And then lastly, uh, we'll have draft. And so my aim is to draft to get my pack fixed. So, you know, not pack fixed per se, but basically every time we draft, we get rewards. As long as I can continue to do well and, and win as often as I am, we'll get good packs through the week. And what I've, and I tried to explain this in yesterday's video, but because it was a live game, I didn't really do a good job. What I've done since FIFA 16 in Draft of Glory has been incredibly positive every single year. In FIFA 16, I made a couple million coins on Draft of Glory. In FIFA 17, I made several millions of coins in Draft of Glory. In FIFA 18, I also made millions of coins through Draft of Glory. And then, of course, in FIFA 19, now mainly because of Hullet, we're probably close on 10 million coins profit from Draft of Glory. And so I've proven year on year that there is sustained positive income from playing drafts. And based on that, I'm actually excited to see how much money we can continually turn over uh, with draft. What is going to be, though, for, for the next week or so, is going to be a really hard transition for me because I, what I want to do is I want to gut my club completely other than, um, you know, basically I just want to get rid of all consumables, all, all squad fitness, all individual fitness, all contracts, every consumable. Players I'll keep because I think that they have their valuation fluctuates so much over time. Um, and then every time I play a draft, whatever I get in the rewards that's consumable-based, I'll sell. And players, if they sell, I'll sell. And if they don't, I won't. And then another way I want to make coins is once this um, once this uh, whole promo kind of ends and, and uh, the league SBCs settle back down, I want to go back to making profit via the league SBCs. Like, for example, the J League is currently 230,000 coins. When I did it 10 days ago... It was. It said it was like around. Um, what did I do? It, it said it was around like 105,000 coins, 90,000 coins, something like that. It, was, it says 99 when I did it, um, and obviously I did it. I actually did it for about 65,000 coins and made profit along the way. It's now 230,000 coins. So people are doing it for like that Barbo, for example. So once they go back down to a super reasonable state. I'll continually run those as well and get 84s, 85s, 86s and 87s in the club for SBCs. So I'm, 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 I'm back to being, and as crazy as it sounds, I'm back to being really excited for the series again because I've got a, a roadmap in my head now of what I've got now and where I want to be at Team of the Season and I've got a plan to execute in between now and then rather than just sitting here thinking, wow, man, I'm playing foot champs for what? For what rewards? Well, now I've got, I've got a plan. I've got something in mind. The only thing that will... Two, two things will happen here. Number one, I might not play squad battles. I like squad battles is extremely tedious and for the amount of packs and rewards that you actually get from it, I could play a draft in that same amount of time and potentially get better rewards and earn more. Um, so squad battles will play by ear, but I'm going to start at least playing to a low level every week just to get those coins and, and a few packs to save up. Uh, the only other thing that might stop this from being a complete program of this is my plan is if EA release something momentous that I'm like, look, I've just got to open my packs for these. You know, if, if they release, you know, if Fuck Birthday comes along and it's just like a monster team, I'm going to be like, guys, let's, you know, let's indulge from here and then rebuild again from Fuck Birthday on towards Team of the Season. That's the only thing that I can see halting this. And, and people in my stream chat, when I explained this, were like, dude, you, you won't even last two weeks or whatever. I will. I will. We, we, it just means we won't have any more rewards videos other than the red player picks, but who cares? The rewards videos do worse than any other video anyway. Um, the rewards in general are terrible. And then again, the only other, other thing that can stop this is if EA actually changed the rewards. If they change the rewards, brilliant. I'll start opening them as they come. But I can't see that happening. Uh, and I'll start playing champs more as well if they change the rewards. And hey, if I'm... If I can figure things out properly here, and if this is good for content creation and, and kind of like gives me a good balance, I would actually love to play to gold one every week because then I could save two 100k packs per week over 10 weeks. That would be 2100k packs and 500,000 coins. That's pretty massive. Uh, along with the 250k packs per week from squad uh, from f rivals. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just, I've got a fever again, guys. I've got a fever. As, as bad as the, this game can be, as infuriating as this game can be, I've got a fever and I'm excited to, to make Team of the Season the best experience we've ever had on any Road to Glory. Uh, anyway, comments.
Um, the first comment is actually a comment that I took from yesterday, the day before yesterday's video that I wanted to uh, engage with but didn't have enough time. And it's from uh, Michael and he says, Hey Nep, I was wondering what your thoughts would be if EA made the base ratings lower next year. I know it might sound like a bad idea at first, but I think it would be good for the game. If the highest rated base cards were 80 to 85, it would allow EA to introduce many more cards over the course of the game that are much better than what we currently have for the best cards. For example, if the best players starting off at the game were 83 rated or something similar, EA could release a promo with 84 to 86 overall rated cards and everyone would be after them. Having ratings start lower would allow EA to introduce many more cards with promos with sought after cards. It would make sure that the players constantly updating their teams to get the latest cards and it would allow EA to make the game exciting all the way through love the content and keep up the good work i've funnily enough i've talked about this over the last couple of years it doesn't make sense to have a rating system that effectively is from 1 to 99 but start the base version of the rating system at like 42 or whatever the lowest rated bronze is 40 perhaps and then have the highest gold at 94 because what as you say michael what you're doing there is you are capping the growth potential of top end players and it is typically the top end players that get more and better cards throughout the year because they are the top end players it's obvious that cristiano ronaldo and Lionel messi and Kylian mbappe and neymar are going to end up with 98 99 rated cards because they start so high and they play so good throughout the course of a season they're getting a team of the year a team of the season man of the matches and informs is just par for the course so if the whole scope got downgraded by like 20 points, um, then yeah, there would be far more value in the growth system of players. Whilst I think that EA could make it work, the one thing that I see a problem with is that after three weeks or four weeks or five weeks, if Ronaldo comes in at an 83 and then EA release a promo that gives... I don't know, someone like Theo Walcott manages to get like an 84, people are just going to be like, look, this is outrageous. We're three weeks into the game and Theo Walcott is better than Cristiano Ronaldo. That shouldn't happen. So th I'm, I'm sure that there are some things against this system. Um, but I haven't had like a deep enough thought process to go with it to think what the utter pros and the utter cons would be i'm sure there are some things that would go horrendously wrong with this but off of first glance and first thought yeah this is something that i think could work very well um so uh, here we are at the end of the foot champs gameplay guys we're eight and oh right now playing really good fifa scoring some really clean goals that whole flick up volley thing right as you're about to see right here it's so nice man just flick it up with r3 scoop it up to yourself and then volley it. Sometimes I time it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes the time ones, most of the time the time ones go in. Uh, sometimes the non-timed go in, sometimes they don't. Uh, what we've got now as well, guys, is just two drafts. And the reason why I've got two drafts is because I was proving to people, not proving to people, but just showing people how even if you're losing in the first round, you can still make profit. So I built a draft and I quit. I scored an goal and quit. And what I actually got was a draft token pack which immediately gives you profit because you get like 100 coins from the match earnings, which, okay, it's 100 coins, but then you get free draft entry and then you get four other gold items in the pack. And sometimes they're players, but most of the time they're consumables. And I did that. I got a draft token pack and I got two players, one which sold for 1,000, one which sold for 700. So I earned like almost 2,000 coins profit from quitting in the first round. And then the next time I quit in the first round, I got a silver players pack and I made back about 13,800 coins from selling everything except four silver players that weren't selling for even 200 coins so if i discarded those i would have been very close to my uh 15,000 coin entry but what i do with those is i look for the long-term profit in terms of what bronze pack method also offers and so i held on to those silver players and eventually they will have a value of 300 500 maybe even 5,000 coins if they if they ever become relevant in an sbc which ultimately we know they will so yeah, I was just kind of explaining to people, this is how you make profit even if you lose in the first round of the draft. Funnily enough, on my Xbox, I've been spamming drafts to try and get a big draft. I'm trying to get a 193 or 194. I'm quitting in the first round constantly and I'm just constantly getting 
very rarely do I get the loan the loan pack. I got it like four times in about 35 drafts. Uh, very rarely have I actually got draft tokens. I got it like two or three times in the 35 drafts. And the rest of the time, I keep getting either jumbo silver packs, silver players packs, or premium silver player packs along with the gold packs. And in one of my premium silver players packs, I got two Cardiff City players that sold for 27,500 each and one uh, French League player that sold for 11,000 coins in one pack. I started with... I have like 5,420-something thousand coins. I started... No, not even kidding, guys. I started... Uh, with five million four hundred and like three thousand coins, all I've done is go into the draft and quit, and go into the draft and quit. Open the silver pack, sell only the expensive silvers, and store everything else. And I've got like fifteen k more than when I started. I've saved loads of silvers into the club, some of which sell up towards a thousand. I just couldn't be bothered to list up because I wanted to get into another draft. And I have like fifty gold packs saved as well. And I sit there and I think, with the current state of the silver market. I truly wonder if there is a potential that first round exits in draft could be an extremely viable way to make long-term profit whilst the league SBCs are so extortionately priced. And of course, things change in the game. And in three days' time when this promo ends, or in four days' time when this promo ends, if the league SBCs half in price that means the silvers come down massively and potentially this is not viable anymore but whilst there are so like the, the the general trend of the league sbcs has gone up so much um in in value that even the cheapest league sbcs like the saudi league that was well under a hundred thousand coins is now one hundred and sixty thousand coins to complete I mean, the Saudi league was literally like 80,000 coins at one stage, and it's now 161,000 coins. Uh, what other leagues have we got that were crazy cheap? The Australian league was very, very cheap, and it's now... Where is it? Where are you, the Australian league? Hyundai A-League is now 60,000 coins to complete, and it was as low as 40,000 coins. So even the Australian league, which only has 10 teams, has gone up 50% in value and so any silver that you get there is going to sell you know it, it really is and and there's so many that have just spiked massively in price uh the Chinese Super League it, it says right now it's 90,000 coins I know that's not true because Henan Jianye is a like 50k squad um for some reason it's saying it's 15k and i think that's because the two silvers that are needed are extinct so they have essentially zero value even though they're both 20k cards so like yeah the, the market will fluctuate but yeah that, that that's that's where i'm at with that one i suppose um super assassin says why don't red player picks count as team of the week players in spcs i don't i don't know it well i know why it's because ea want the, the want to regulate the market however they want it right so if if red player picks were counted as team of the weeks getting prime icons would be considerably cheaper getting anything would just be far cheaper and ea don't want that um however i wish that ea would do more with um instead of a team needing an inform have a have a requirement of it needing a champions league card or a man of the match card or a future stars card or a live item or a ones to watch card it doesn't like doesn't always have to be geared in towards just team of the week cards but again i think it's ea's way of uh, just regulating the market marissa says anyone else feel like you get too many icons in draft now i love it i truly love it i love the fact that you can just spend fifteen thousand coins have a reasonable expectation of making at least half of those coins back no matter what round you end up losing in and get the opportunity to play with some of the best cards in the game. I love it. I truly love it. And that's why, and it really, you know, as I said in yesterday's episode as well, there are still a lot of errors with draft. There's a lot they can still improve with draft. But right now, draft has got me extremely excited to just play FIFA again. And that hasn't happened for about three months. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to hitting three, four, eight, nine icons in draft and, and getting the first ever world's first 194 or getting a 195 as more big cards come out. Like, I'm, I'm truly excited for for playing draft again. Um, we got a comment from Tim Hughes. Says, I've been playing a 433 holding, not sure of the number variant for the past month or so, and it worked really well for me, telling one of the CMs to get forward, meaning there is help defensively but also pushes into the camera on beyond when attacking yeah i enjoyed it i've been playing the three four three the four three three 
I think it's the third variant, the same one that you're talking about, the holding one with a CDM and two CMs. And um, I've had a lot of success with the Indraft. In fact, we're building it here, this exact one that you're seeing on the screen right now. That is uh, the variant that you're talking about. It is a 4333. I really enjoy it. Um, it doesn't lend into my crossing technique very well, uh, just because of the fact that their wingers not cam, so they don't get into the same area of the box as the cams do. But it allows me to create way more passing opportunities and I score more goals centrally than I do out wide. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that as well. Uh, Ant says, Champs isn't entirely about making money. People genuinely like a competition. And you are right. Um, it, it, you know, you are right. But the problem is, is that in other games where it's competitive, there aren't even any rewards. Like when I played League of Legends competitively, not that I was a competitive player, but when I played in ranked online play in League of Legends... I was always so intrigued to get back into another game as quick as possible to put what I learned from the last game to better practice and and the mistakes that I made or the you know when somebody did like outplayed me I, I gained knowledge from that and, and I was like wow he did this let me try that next game or let me you know I constantly got ganked from my own jungle so next game let me make sure I'm warding my jungle so that I've got vision there or let me communicate better with my jungler to help you know to back us up when we're getting ganked and it, there was a constant learning curve and the satisfaction that you got was from playing and winning the game specifically. In FIFA, because of how much RNG is involved, when you come out of a game, win or lose sometimes, you don't feel like you learned something and you're eager to get into the next game. You feel like you don't understand why what happened happened. And that's a problem. That's why the people play for the rewards and not for the competition. Even the people that play for the competition don't really play for the competition. They they play to see if they can hit their 30 wins to get their rewards. Like, it, you know, I don't know. It's, I, I'm running out of time to really explain in detail kind of like what I think about this. So maybe I'll save this for the next video as well so that we can talk in a lot more detail about what I'm saying here. Uh, but that is going to signal the end of the video as well, guys. So as I say, we built another draft. Uh, I quit this one as well. I got a silver players pack and two gold packs. And this is the one where we made like 13,000 or yeah, 14,200 or something. Um, with five, four silvers saved into the club, but yeah, I am I am thoroughly enjoying um, drafting, playing in the draft, and you are going to see. Even though this is the road to glory, this is still on the road to glory account, I suppose. You are going to see a lot of experimentation with drafts over the the coming weeks, and I just I really hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to be enjoying it. But this guys is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.